welcome to the Green Apple Home. I am proud and pleased to present some wonderful pumpkin bars which I know are delicious. <laughs> After my little mishap with my other pumpkin thing, oh, I'm just so happy that I'm making something pumpkin that I'm going to actually ingest and digest and eat and love. <laughs> um, it's actually in a jelly roll pan, so you're going to need a little pan like this that has the lip. This is called a jelly roll pan. It, um, I'm sure other fans would do as long as it has the little lip to make flat um, bars because these are pumpkin bars and they are the bomb of pumpkinness. So anyways, what you do is you start out with a bowl of two cups of flour. We're going to go fast here because we need the faster we do this, the faster we can eat it. <laughs> I'm just going to mix all my dry ingredients. So two cups flour, one and two thirds cup sugar. And then we're just going to add a plethora of spices. Look at this. I wish you could smell this. It's like a palette for your face. <laughs> um, let's see. There is, I'll start right here if I can remember correctly. Okay. This is two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of cloves, ground cloves. So I'm just going to sprinkle all that in, all that goodness. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, so then for our wet ingredients, we've got a whole cup of oil. Oil coats your organs so they work better, don't you know? And also, um, because you're putting so much oil in, you're not going to need to grease your 9 by 13 Or this is, what is this? This is a little bit bigger. I'm not sure what it is. Whatever it is, you don't really need to grease it because look at all this grease. All right, anyways, a cup of, I've got canola oil, but I'm sure vegetable would be just as fine. I've got four eggs. I didn't even beat them because I'm going to mix them up in there. And a can of a 16-ounce pumpkin. Anyways, I'm going to mix this up with my mixer and put it in the oven. I've got it preheated already to 350. And we're going to chow down. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Already tasting this batter. It's like 101% better than that nasty pumpkin swirl stuff I made. My roommate in college first made this. This is where I got the recipe. She has a recipe for blonde brownies that are also amazing. Okay, that's pretty even. All right, this looks beautiful. This is so beautiful. It says for 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna check on it. You can always use a toothpick. When you start smelling it, then you gotta start checking on it. Okay, this is it when it comes out. it's. You can see a little bit of like a brown on it. Um, it only took me 20 minutes and I did the toothpick and it came out totally clean. It smells so yummy. I'm going to make the frosting and I'm going to let it cool for a little. Who am I kidding? I'm going to eat some of this now. I couldn't do it without the frosting. It's totally delicious. It's sweet enough. And it's spicy enough, and it's pumpkin -y enough. It's moist is the main thing. It's got flavor. Totally tastes all those spices. It's delicious. It'd be perfect sprinkling powder sugar on the top. With my frosting, it's going to be divine with the cream cheese frosting. Seriously, this is all you need, really, for pumpkin. It's really good. I just wanted to show you guys how the frosting looked on the pumpkin bars. And oh my gosh, me and my husband have started on this row. It's, it's much better than that uh, pumpkin swirl thing you made the other oh, time. Oh, it doesn't even compare. It's no. actually better than the pumpkin spice cake It's muffins. an award winner. That's what this is. An award winner. Oh, it's yeah. a blue ribbon. That's good. <laughs> it's a major award. <laughs> it is good though. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home.